I first walked in, my whole court didn't know what they were supposed to do. Ladies, back outside, back outside, come on. We're gonna come in and then you're gonna wait until the end. And the next thing I know, my mom's like, okay, we need to start the prayer. Music Are you okay? changes. What's wrong? When the music nice. changes, yeah. then you're gonna come in. She's all stressed out. She's like, okay, honey, we need to go. Are you, are you ready? Okay, here we go. We would like to welcome you to Honey's Quinceanera. Father God, we thank you for today's celebration of Honey's birthday. As we witness the evident love of her parents and their desire to celebrate her this day, that it will remind us to celebrate every day of our lives. So the ceremony went really well. I sat there and instead of having a misa or a church like people usually do ahead of time, we decided to do it at the hall. And I was actually surprised by how much family was there to support me and I did get emotional in that part. So as the saying goes, mothers know best. My mom has been convincing me to wear heels this entire time. And I've realized today that walking my dress is really long from the front. And since I don't have that extra height, I keep tripping on it. Now that she doesn't have the heels, she's going to damage that dress. And I just, I'm not really happy about it. So I agreed to wear the heels for the dance. So we definitely need another practice. So we're going to have an emergency practice. This is probably the most important practice of our lives. So we need to make sure we have everything on point. Because when we practiced at the hall yesterday, we were a mess. We didn't know our places, so we need to finalize everything. What happened? Spin. I don't know. Spin. 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 I don't know. Look at this. Oh my god. Wait, so how'd you make a hole in your pants? Safe. He was running with Andrew on top of him. No. His back, yeah, and then he comes no. back with his No, pants it was before ripped. that. Yeah, it was before that. that. Well, why are you guys getting on each other's back? He didn't notice until like. He was like running really far away, like he was running far away and I turned around and I thought I saw his whole like butt cheek coming out. <laughs> Cause I thought his pants were sliding down, but. Um, well like I don't, I don't know how, exactly how it happened, but I know like I felt like a, like, like a little breeze and I was like, what's going on? Like, and then other Anthony was like, I can see your whole leg, like your butt hanging out. So I'm inside, you know, minding my own business and then a mob comes up to me and they're like, honey, Anthony ripped his pants. And at first, I was a little surprised. I was like, what do you mean he ripped his pants, you know? He came up to me and he turned around and he had a huge tear in his pants. He walked in like this. He walked in like that. That's that. why when I saw him with that, I was like, what's wrong? Yeah, I was like this, look, I was like this. He wrapped him up in the back. Yeah, he was like, like that. that. Yeah, he was walking like that. For how long? I <laughs> Bro, all the pictures and videos, he's gonna be walking around with the sweater. No, 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 no. no. We'll we'll fix it. Fix it. I was thinking to myself, like, how are we gonna dance? He has one pant leg, like, halfway open. I was freaking out. I'm gonna fix this, like, we're gonna figure something out. So once they had approached me, they're like, honey, we're working on a plan to figure it out, you know, but they didn't tell me what it was. And then finally, right before we were about to practice, his mom saved the day, she had his pants. Yeah, okay, go change them, right, like, right now. Okay, are we gonna practice? We don't have time. Chicos, get in line, chicos. Beginning, beginning, chicos, yes. Two lines, yes. the wall. Oh my okay, we don't have time oh. to do that. We were about to go on stage in less than 10 minutes and everybody decided this is the best time to kid around and not take it seriously. Like, it was important and they didn't treat it that way. When we practice the honey, walk, were we back. facing hey, the DJ? Honey. Yeah. Oh my, yeah. honey. Wait, where's the help? Honey, yes. stand up for a second. Scoot back, look. Lean back when you come to my hand so I can actually get you there. Go. Okay. All right, one, two, three. Don't let me slip. I need to practice this with you. Let's go. Hold on, bro. Okay, ready? Hold on. So I'm gonna walk. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna lift her up with this. Okay. Can I just take this off? No, other than when I got it. It restricts me. I know how it look. Does it look bad like this or no? If it's easier for you to lift me without the vest and take it off, without that, then take me off. Let's go. Okay, one, two, three. You're spinning me the wrong direction. Oh, this way? How many times have you spun me? Bro, how many times have we switched directions? None. Is this it way? Doesn't matter. No, 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 no. It yes, it really does. does. Okay, go. Yeah, it, doesn't it doesn't matter, but still, it feels weird. Oh sh. See? Did you rip it? No. I didn't rip. I didn't rip. So Anthony had lifted me up for the one where he's only lifting me by myself, and he tore my dress. Like he was stepping on it, and I went up, and I was like, "It's ripped." I'm like, "No, it's not. It's fine." It didn't rip, really? 
I don't think that's a hole. It didn't really. Okay. <laughs> Dance practice was a mess. Today was the most important time to know all the steps. We have Natalie now. Yeah, we have Get in the circle. Go, go, go. Get in the circle. Oh, do it. Get in the circle. Oh, do it. Get in the circle. No, we don't have time for the top. Listen, we don't have time to do it from the beginning. Get in the circle. No one could get the lift down. The girls were slipping off because of their dresses. The guys were letting go of their hands. Everyone kept falling. Oh my God. Let go. What happened? Of all days, any other time we do it perfectly for, again. How many times have we done this circle? It's one, two, three, lift. Hey, hey. Just relax. Okay. Okay. Everybody just relax, bro. Take it slow. Relax, 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 relax. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Go. Hey, come back out more. Come back out more. That's too close, bro. Like, get like more like a circle. All right, get on your knees. Ready? Down. I was actually really surprised at Anthony. At the beginning, him and I were always bickering, you know, had different views. But when it was time to come up to the plate, he was actually taking it seriously. Yeah, we separate too much. One, two, three. See, look. One of you guys is more higher than the other one. That doesn't matter. It's always been like that. I do like that. Oh, you just have to do it on three. Are you going to do that in the actual dance? We're going to do it right now. We've never shown Go down. Go down. How many times have we done this? But now I have a hole in my dress. All right. Yeah, no, 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 So for the walls, I was super nervous because when we had practiced in the hall, it was so slippery. Usually we practice on concrete, you know, the telas were fine. But in the hall, it was so slippery and I had my huge dress that I kept stepping on. I was really scared. Blood, sweat, and tears, yeah, we feel the pain But we're coming in strong like a hurricane Even if it's coming down to the wire We fight, oh, Gonna stay So the lifts were nerve-wracking. The one where I just lifted with Anthony by myself, I felt like I was gonna fall backwards, so I was holding on for dear life. The circle one, I barely held on, but the girls were kind of slipping. I could see them from the corner of my eye. So when we had done the lift circle, which was what we were struggling with outside, Natalie actually slipped off of Andrew, but he caught her in time, so it doesn't look too obvious. Honey, you are exquisite in so many levels. You are kind. You are gentle, you are smart, yet you are humble. So my mom was living this experience through me since she didn't have a quinceanera, and every time I would look over at her and see her facial expression, like she was happy, and that genuinely made me happy, and I think she enjoyed it too. But most of all, you're a woman of God, and for that, I am so happy and honored to be your mom. Continue to stay true to yourself, and continue to grow in your faith. To my baby girl, I love you so much. My baby girl is very respectful. She's true to herself, and she holds all of us in our household to be accountable. After 15 years of being an only single child, I was ecstatic, and I'm ecstatic to this day. I'd finally have someone that I'd probably could boss around. So, <laughs> I love you, I'm so happy for you, and deep down inside, you're always gonna be my booper. 
First and foremost, I want to thank God for allowing me to see 15 amazing years surrounded by amazing people such as yourselves. I'm so thankful for my entire family, everyone up here and all of you for just making this day feel so special for me. I remember the first day I thought about having a quinceanera and it's finally here, it came really fast. But I wanna thank all of you for supporting me, my entire court, for just coming to practice at eight in the morning. But I'm just surrounded by such amazing people and friends and I appreciate and love all of you guys. Thank you. Changes. One was from my beaded outfit with the black shimmy sweater to a whole new smooth camera outfit. People were really into it. I could hear people be like, yes, honey, or ooh, they were all hyping me up, you know, so I feel like the crowd really enjoyed it. So the second quick change, I'm expecting a curtain to pop up behind me, you know, so I can change really quickly. And then the girls are late, and I'm just standing there for like 20 seconds awkwardly waiting for them to bring the curtain to me. It was a mess. Like the girls were all trying to button up my shirt, and they all had acrylics on, and they were all struggling. The girls couldn't get my arms to the stuff. I was missing a sock half the time. I feel all those stressful components like trying to get the quick changes done or actually having masks or the fog. I think they were all pretty nerve wracking and added to the pressure, but at the end of the day, I think it made it work. At first I was like, you know what, we don't really need the masks, we don't really need the hats and you know. But once I took a step back and actually looked at the dance, it was totally worth it and needed. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy your party. I think it was a definitely a success. We worked really hard and it turned out to be amazing. I'm losing my voice and I'm just, I was screaming out of the top of my lungs. I think Honey and her court did an amazing job and it just turned out like beautifully. 
One thing that stood out to me was just how well my family mixed. You know, like they didn't see a difference in culture or anything. Like they all just got on the dance floor and danced to whatever they want. They all made me happy. That was my one mission for today, was to bring both sides of my family together. And I think I did a pretty good job. I feel like the most memorable moment was just hearing everybody's speeches because, yeah, we tell each other we love each other, but once you really hear deep down what they think and feel about you, it's really heartwarming. Through this experience, I wanted to kind of just give my anxiety a rest and just live in the present, you know, not always worried about everything being perfect and just having fun, and I think I've gotten better at that. You know, honestly, to be honest with you, I think it, it went above and beyond my expectations of my own, my very own quinceañera. I think just seeing this through my daughter and experiencing this through her and knowing how happy she was, is just completely fulfilled my expectations of anything. I told her that I'm not planning her wedding, so she needs to plan on her own wedding because I'm Thank tired. <laughs> this was definitely my dream quinceañera. Thank you so much for watching my episode. Make sure to watch the videos down below and subscribe to Awesomeness TV. Bye!